Good day, everybody. Welcome back to another upload of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you haven't done so, please do so. Hit that like, that subscribe, and uh, that notification button. This way, any other uploads that I will be doing that you're not going to miss out. So that's a really great way to, to kind of stay up to date on all the stuff. So today we are Saturday on the Easter long weekend, and it's still too bloody cold to be riding outside. So what better way um, than to kind of uh, fix and just do a couple little random things on the bikes here before the season starts to get on its way. So today I'm going to be working on the DR650 chain cover, chain protector, uh, which goes over the front sprocket. Um, a lot of times uh, I see some guys, they go out and they buy, uh, they remove these ones and they buy some accessory covers or some people they kind of just hack away at it and just kind of cut it all off or completely remove it. Um, this video today, um, as you can kind of get a, a, a glimpse already as to what I'm doing here, um, I'm going to be um, trimming away on the main components of here to uh, not only see the sprocket, but it also allows a lot of the debris and dirt and, and mud to kind of evacuate from the sprocket so it doesn't build up um, and then when it comes time to power washing and stuff like that uh, being that there will be more cutouts and openings within this stock cover um, it will allow us to just better main maintain the actual sprocket and its condition so today is the factory or the original sprocket cover modification for the dr650 All right, the main tools that we're going to need here to do this is basically, first off, yes, some kind of painter's tape or something that where you want to mark on the actual cover here to show or to uh, locate where you're going to do it. Some people basically, uh, they can just cut the whole bloody thing off. Uh, some people want to make a little bit more of a design, more of a pattern. Really, it is completely up to you as to what you guys want to do. Uh, myself, what I'm going to be doing here, um, if you take a look at the cover itself, um, you can see there's these three shapes right here, those indents. So I'm going to be cutting those ones out uh, just to kind of give it a nice, cool, nice, clean look. And at the same time here, instead of cutting this whole thing out now, rendering it like basically not as a, a cover and doesn't look good, um, I decided that I'm going to kind of... Uh, stay with the same style design as here, but now on a vertical position here like this, right? So uh, what I have done is measured from this line here down to this line here. And, and what the spacing is, is like 10 millimeters, one centimeter. Um, so basically I then did increments of one centimeter all across here and then basically did my lines, right? So. Uh, attaching each one centimeter up. Um, then I've marked out which ones I'm going to cut out, which is the ones that are marked up with black, as you can see here. Um, so I'm gonna have one, two, three, four different cutouts here. That is also gonna match up with the three cutouts that are over here. And then at the same time, we're gonna try and continue the, the nice little uh, rounded shape here. So you wanna kind of Take your time and you're going to work on that. The Basically, the tools that you are going to need um, is, of course, a Dremel, right? I mean, you wouldn't want to do it without a Dremel. That's definitely the, the must-have. A carbon cutting disc is probably going to be the best thing in order to make a nice straight, straight cut, uh, especially along these vertical ones and these horizontal lines. Um, so a carbon cutting disc is really good. You can then use a sanding disc here. Um, that itself will kind of help finish up, make the nice rounded edges on each side. And then if you need to kind of get in and finish off with the, the, the tiniest little corners just to kind of finish it off, I like to use a, uh, a, a pointed tip here. Hopefully you can see it. Um, this just allows me to kind of get right into the corners and just clean it up if there's anything that needs to be done, right? So um, first we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the carbon cutting disc and uh, let's kind of get going. I am going to start with 
I'll have to say I'm going to start with the the taped out middle portion here just so I can kind of get rid of the tape and then it'll be a lot easier to work with otherwise you kind of kind of be very gentle and make sure that the tape doesn't pull apart and then you have to kind of start all over again so again make sure that you're always wearing some safety glasses or, or eyeglasses whatever it may be so let's get to this and just kind of start slowly taking your time and just kind of getting it cut up You just want to take your time and make sure the lines are nice. So we'll do that. And then we'll kind of come over here and kind of get these ones out of the way too. So let's get this one out of the way. And then we can kind of move over to the uh, other cutting discs. I've done all the straight cuts. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, go ahead and take the uh, the taper tip here and then this way I can kind of just go ahead and get rid of each end so there you have it as you can see it's kind of like in a raw raw cut out here it's a raw you know we haven't uh, really gotten into trimming it basically all we've done is, is kind of gone through it real quick um, just kind of get the, the the most of it out of the way. I'm just going to kind of take off the the, the pieces that I can by hand, uh, which are, are the the bigger melted pieces. And then once that's done, then we can kind of go in and start uh, really cleaning it up and making it all nice and smooth and kind of starting to give it a factory finish. Uh, but as you can see here already, um, it's starting to look uh, quite nice actually. Um, it really, really doesn't take that much. But for the most part, yeah, you just take your time. There's no rush. There's no racing at it. But there you go. So there you have it like that, right? And so now let's go ahead and go into with this piece here. Um, so I use the smaller, you, you basically have two different kinds of... Uh, of sanding round blocks, right? Sanding discs, you got the bigger one and then you got the smaller one. This is just kind of allow me to kind of get in. Now you're gonna have to get into it and you're gonna have to start uh, grinding it because the, the width of them is not the same. But once you go in and you kind of go down nice and slowly and take your time, um, you'll create a nice uniform uh, spacing on each one, which will then that ultimately will give it the kind of like the factory look. Um, just be mindful that when you do it with this, um, this may sometimes expand out, open up, and, and uh, become uh, unusable as per se. So just take your time. All right, so there you have it, man. I mean, for the most part, it's, uh, as you saw, it was fairly easy, pretty straightforward. Um, what I did end up uh, doing actually, just to finish it off, is I do have a file here that's got a flat on the one side and then a, a nice round tapered on the other side, which I basically used to do the flat parts and then rolled it over and then did the, uh, the angles and did the round uh, nice pieces here with the, the actual file. You can do the same thing as well with some sandpaper if you have some sandpaper. But for the most part, as you see, it uh, not only creates a functional uh, and still a good safety uh, cage for your front sprocket, uh, but it does allow a, a lot easier access to go and clean it. And when you're power washing it, it, it allows at least uh, uh, the debris and the mud and all that to, to kind of escape a little bit quicker. Uh, but for the most part, it's super, super simple, super easy. Um, it didn't take any longer than 15, 20 minutes of my time. Again, you know, just uh, using a Dremel, using the right tools, a carbon cutting disc, a, a tapered uh, drill bit here, and then your little fine um, sandpaper disc, uh, a file, exacto, um, painter's tape here to, to measure out where you want to cut. Again, you can either do one big shot, big thing, you can do a circle, you can do whatever you want, you can just do just the slats. Um, whatever man it's it's tons of different features tons of different uh, opportunities for you guys to figure out what you want to do and just kind of make it your own so 
Again, that's for the DR650. This is a 2018 model, uh, but I don't think there's any differences between any of the uh, any of the years. Super simple, super easy, nice way to mod it without having to go actually spend some money. So, again, hopefully uh, this has given you guys uh, some ideas and some some insight on how to actually do that without having to spend any money. And until next time, guys, be good, have fun, take care, don't forget, keep it covered. All right, cheers, bye bye. Super sexy. Other than it's dirty. <clears throat> But that works, man. That's super simple, man. I mean, that was a 20 minute job there, all right? So now we're just gonna put the bolts back on, get it back in, and it's gonna be super cool because you're gonna see the sprocket and you're gonna see the chain rotating around in there, man. That's gonna be nice. Hey. Yeah, yeah.